leaders about having the maturity and being able to see the big picture and put others before yourself. Being a leader is about taking care of the people under you. You're not necessarily leading soldiers. You are, but first you're leading people. And you're gonna get so much more out of people if you can relate to them on a personal level. Growing up, I went back and forth between wanting to be a doctor and a teacher for a long time. And as I got more interested in nursing and learned more about it, I found out it was a really unique field. They've taught us you're not treating the condition, you're not treating the disease, but you're treating the person underneath. Moving forward, in my career, I think that's something that I'll take with me and really approach whatever situation I'm in by looking at the person first. And looking in to the Army Nurse Corps, it just lines up so well, so it kind of made sense to me to do both. Service has been kind of drilled into me my whole life, so the combination of the two was too good to pass up. Growing up, sports were always a huge part of my life. Being on teams was probably my favorite thing about growing up. I've found qualities and responsibilities from ROTC and working with your battle buddy to every single one of my teammates. Not only do we support each other on the field, but we support each other during academics and personal life. And then music was always an outlet. I was in orchestra and choirs growing up, so I really wanted to continue that in my time here at Boston College. I think it helps to be well-rounded. I was always raised with the thought that give your best and do your best work and God will take care of the rest. The bigger place I think I pull strength from is all the people around me. When you're running and you don't want to take another step or you don't want to carry the weight or you don't want to stay in the library until 1 or 2 a.m. studying, I look up and I see the people next to me doing the same thing and they're there to make me laugh and they're there for support. So really I pull a lot of strength from the people around me and they're what motivate me to get up in the morning because I know they're going to be there for me and hopefully I can be there for them. My education here at Boston College has really emphasized human relationships and taking care of the person, whether that's in the medical sphere and treating a patient or if I'm called to do something more tactically driven in the military, I think it's approaching all those situations with a very human mindset and a compassionate mindset and acknowledging the fact that there's a person on the other side of whatever you're dealing with. And it's easy to get caught up in a result and an end goal, but I think the process of how we get there and the underlying message that we're giving to the people we interact with is so much more important.